Texture packs are one of the easiest ways to customize Minecraft 1.20.4. Let's go ahead and get some installed. So first things first, you want to go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our list of 15 resource packs for Minecraft 1.20.1. And by the way, resource packs and texture packs, they're the exact same thing. Nevertheless, once you're here, we're going to go ahead and select a few of them. We'll grab John Smith Legacy, for example. We will grab the Doku Craft Pack. Actually, no, we won't. We'll grab Spax Pure BD Craft. And then we will, last but not least, grab Faithful because... Well, that's just one of my all-time favorites. Now, all of these are taking you to our specific guides on downloading them. And once you're there, go ahead and click download on those pages to be taken to their official download pages. Now, once you're here, we want to go ahead and click on files for Faithful here because it's on CurseForge and find the most recent release. Now, sometimes that won't be 1.20.3. I'm going to show you what to do if that's the case. We're good to download the 1.20.2 version of this pack in this case here, though, by clicking the three dots and clicking download file. Well, that's downloading. How about from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, and yes, even a resource pack or texture pack to your server. That way your friends, as soon as they join, download that resource pack and texture pack, giving them the same one that you have. And on top of that, we do have a one-click mod pack installer, making it super easy to add mod packs to your server and start playing with those with your friends. So with that, stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown .xyz slash sgh. Nonetheless, you can see this is now completely finished, and we can go ahead and move on to downloading SPACs Pure BD Craft by clicking download here. And then the thing about SPACs that I wanted to mention is that currently the 1.20 version here is available, and it's available only to supporters. I went with this pack specifically because, one, you should go support them. I mean, obviously supporting them is a huge way to basically keep them going with what they do here. They make amazing high-quality packs. But I want to show you what happens when you install a 1.19 pack. So we're going to go ahead and download this. And by the way, you can actually see the different texture kind of formats here. 512, look how smooth these lines are versus 16x and how blurry things are. We're going to go right in the middle and download 128x. Agree to their terms of service and wait a few seconds to start this download. There we go. Go ahead and download and it will begin. And then last but not least, we do have John Smith Legacy here. Once we've selected John Smith Legacy, we can find the version that we want, which is right here for Minecraft Java Edition and click download under it. Now with all these downloaded, I've already got Minecraft open and once you're on the Minecraft main menu, these are super easy to install. Now it is important you know where they downloaded to and that's going to be your downloads folder. So if you do want to go there and find those, we can go into File Explorer, click on Downloads here and there are all three of these packs. Now I'm going to drag these to my desktop. That's not required. It's just easier to uh, you know use them and move them into Minecraft from your desktop. Nonetheless, here we are. Minecraft is open and from the Minecraft main menu, all you want to do to install a resource pack is go to Options resource packs and then click open pack folder that's pretty fast let's do it one more time from the minecraft main menu click on options resource packs right and then open pack folder now drag and drop any of the resource packs you want to install into this resource packs folder and boom they're now in game now one thing you'll notice is because minecraft 1.20.4 just came out today these aren't updated they're all red it looks like they won't work but they will Every single one of them will, including Purity Craft's 1.19 version. Let me show you what it looks like. So let's start off with the one we know will work, which is going to be faithful here. If we click on this uh, arrow here to move it from available to selected, we're going to get a warning. Are you sure you want to load this pack? And yes, we do. So boom, it moves over here. And now we can click done. Minecraft's going to reload. And we'll be able to see that the menu has slightly changed here just to show that faithful is working. We'll go ahead and jump onto our simple game hosting server. And then once we're on the server here, we can actually very quickly, one, see that this is working, but two, switch resource packs. You can switch resource packs in game without having to like reload or join, rejoin the server, or rejoin single player. But you can see that this is in fact active here as we're running up these stairs. And if we come outside, we can really see it's active with all of these textures being changed. But what if we go ahead and install that 1.19 pack? What does that look like? Well, do that, you're gonna go ahead and press escape to open up the you know game menu here, click on options, and then resource packs. Then we wanna move the faithful pack from the right side selected here to the left side using the arrow, and we wanna move Sfax Pure BD Craft, the 1.19 pack, to the selected packs. We're still gonna get this warning. Go ahead and click yes, that's fine. And now, when we go ahead and press done here, Minecraft's gonna reload, but not all the textures are gonna be updated. Only the Sfax Pure BD Craft textures for 1.19 will be updated. If we come over here, we have a uh, cherry tree. 
you can see what the leaves look like in this and what the leaves look like in Sfax. They, they really don't match. For example, even, you know, this right here, the, the tree trunk and this tree trunk, they don't really match. That's because this is vanilla. This is a vanilla texture here. And what's really crazy is we were to come in here into options, resource packs, we can actually add John Smith Legacy by clicking the arrow here and clicking yes over here to select it. If we click this little arrow and move it under pure BD craft and click done, now all the other textures are going to be Sfax Pure BD Craft, except the cherry tree, which this is now John Smith. How crazy is that? And this is useful when you're looking at like weapons packs. For example, if you had a weapons pack and you wanted to have all the John Smith textures, you would just put the weapons pack first, then John Smith. Basically meaning any weapons are going to show up because it's first. Then under that, any John Smith textures are going to show up. And let's say John Smith didn't have all the textures. After that, they're going to be default. So that's something that's worth keeping in mind. But now if we remove Sfax and reload with just John Smith, we can see that everything is matching and changed. So there you have it. That's how you can add a resource pack to Minecraft 1.20.4. We will see more and more resource packs working with Minecraft 1.20.4. And those resource packs won't have to do that yes confirmation that we did. But as we can see here, this is now working. We are good to go and we will see you in the next video.